What a city, what a painting, famous Hong Kong. Known for its lifestyle, known for the incredible architecture, and it blends the East with the West. The painting Charles created of Hong Kong gives you all of that. Painting like this, you definitely will not know for a long time. You will always discover something new, a new building or another movement or a monument. You will go through the painting and you will always find that there is a new surprise for you. In 1986, village was in Italy, in Spoleto, very small town, very small medieval town, and he was asked to do a painting of that particular tiny city. The city had very small, narrow little lanes, so you couldn't see the city in one way. So he created his own Spoleto. What he remembered was made an impact on him, like an old fountain or some monuments or a very narrow little market. And he created his spoleto. He created a spoleto where all the chains of the city have been taken and have been combined in his city, his reality, a village painting. Spoleto was such an amazing success for him that when he came back to Sydney, he straight away painted Sydney and then followed with the other capitals of Australia. A very exciting painting Another cityscape is our fabulous painting of New York. New York is vibrant. New York is a city which never sleeps. And Billich wanted to show that in his painting. He wanted to give you the same feel. You have a city alive. He painted the New York everybody dreams of, where everything is possible. And I believe it is now hanging between two old masters. What a fabulous achievement for Billich.